Now let's face it, Christmas shopping is stressful enough, but gift wrapping doesn't have to be. With a few tips and products to suit your needs, you'll be all wrapped up for the holidays in no time. And back with some suggestions is our organizing expert, Lisa Lelis. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. I need your help because I am terrible at wrapping gifts. You say it doesn't have to be as bad as I make it. It really <laughs> and maybe, doesn't have to maybe be. Maybe getting organized is what yeah. I need to do. Is and we're that right? down to that last week before Christmas, mm -hmm. so we really want I mean, when all else fails, Gift bags and tissue oh, papers have yep. been a huge lifesaver for many people. And you can go to, you know, very, you can go to the dollar store and mm -hmm. you can really get inexpensive tissue paper and wrapping paper. The average person spends over $54 on just wrapping supplies every year. Wow. So, yeah, so we really have, oh, the average family in America. Okay. So. Um, and, and actually, a first rule of thumb is to gather all your gift wrapping, your holiday gift wrapping supplies together in one place all right. so that it's convenient. And then when you pack up the Christmas decorations, you pack up that back, you know, that box of uh, Christmas Right, and it helps to, to be able to move it around from room to room, maybe? Absolutely. If you have a little, it's a, a portable center yeah. is really good. Yeah. So wherever you happen to be wrapping, you can plop the stuff there and you mm -hmm. have the bows and the wrap and whatnot. A great new product on the market. I mean, they're coming out with all these crazy things, but this is wonderful. And it's just a nylon stretch and you literally just wow. stretch it over any box or item. I have never and seen that before. Yeah, it's brand new. It's similar to those book socks that you know, parents at home with students, you know, to cover books, they have these available in different colors. Well, now they thought, well, let's make them festive enough to use. They come in all different sizes, and you can reuse them. So they're very green. And, it's like uh, a stretchy pillowcase. It's really, it's cool. and it's very easy, and they look pretty. And another great idea is to take pretty bows and ribbon and put a little Velcro on it. So again, Ooh. like this, you can put it around, you snap it on, and you can reuse the bows as well. So another great product on the market for nice. all of us that really don't like to spend a lot of time wrapping. Yeah. Oh, I uh, like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, the pre the pre decorated um, cardboard boxes mm -hmm. are are wonderful because all you have to do is just add a bow, and they come in a you know wonderful assortment of prizes. They're available. Every, I mean, you know, different uh, boxes. Right. And, and you can sizes. use those again and again. They yeah. get passed around. Yep. And when all else fails and you ran out of gift paper and you have a few gifts to wrap, there's nothing wrong with using <laughs> the newspaper, the, the funny funniest, pages, yeah. uh -huh. even brown. You know, just brown paper because it's just kind of elegant looking. Yeah, with a pretty bow, it can really look elegant. Okay. And another little uh, green type of wrapping is to, if you, you know, for those crafters out there, is to fabric cover and wow. a glue gun. Just fabric a sturdy, you know, fabric cover a sturdy box, and you can just use it year after year. And what we do is, I actually even put a little gift list in here of what my kids got so and we leave this out for Santa and we like to see what he put in it that particular year so you can you know it's a nice memory box as yeah, well. Very nice that's a little bit beyond me but yeah. thank you so much these are some great tips we're looking at I love it's these. It's not too late. These, oh I'm gonna yes. get, me, get me some of those absolutely. Lisa Lilas organizing expert thank you very much for You're more welcome. of her tips you can log on to WTNH.com and click on the Good Morning Connecticut section.